This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, everybody, guess what? It's Tuesday, and it's time for the first day of the week of the Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett. <clears throat> we'll be here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Right now it's about uh, 10.05.30 uh, Eastern Daylight Time on the East Coast of the United States. And in about a half hour from right now, we'll talk to our citizens panel, and we'll have lots of fun and games and all kinds of things going on. But meanwhile, as always, on a Tuesday night, we got a guest. Ladies and gentlemen... The ever popular, the uh, how can we get enthusiastic Larry Bubbles Brown? Hello, Larry. Mr. Optimus, how are you doing, Alex? I, I'm I'm okay. Better than when I talked to you last. Yes, you were. You had me scared the last time I talked to you. Well, it, it, I, what did I sound like? You said that I I sounded weird. You picked up the phone and you're trying to look at your calendar and you kept repeating yourself. Oh, you kept you're trying to find something you couldn't find it. You kept repeating yourself over and over. I was in a stupor. I yeah. I got a cold like I haven't had a cold like this in years, and it just so knocked me for a loop that I was walking in circles. I was talking to myself. Uh, uh, my wife said I was strange and everything. The next day it started clearing up, but man, it was terrible. It was just Were terrible. You on any medication? No. So finally, oh. last Friday, I went over to this one of these walk-in clinics because it's faster than going to your doctor. It take three days to see you. Right. Yeah. And they gave me some antibiotics and some um, the prednisone and uh, an inhaler. And uh, uh, within a day, I was feeling like two hundred percent better. Jeez. Yeah. And and now I'm I'm pretty good shape, as you can hear. You know. Well, that must have been a hell of a cold. Mm. It was terrible, and I felt especially guilty because I was supposed to call you, <laughs> and I completely forgotten it. I, there was, I literally got to the point where I couldn't use the computer because I couldn't figure out how you used it. Wow! I mean, it was it, it was getting that bad. So, you know, Jeez. yeah, I was I was in I was in pretty bad shape, and then I had a bad tooth going for me, and I had that taken care of. Uh, just turned out that it happened to be an infected pocket, and uh, uh, my knee, which had been bothering me, is not bothering me any longer since they gave me the shot. So I'm I'm on a, on a pain level. I'm great now. I, did you, did you get a cortisone shot? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I got one of those last week with my shoulder. I didn't realize. My main, my regular doctor goes, oh, I don't give those, but then she sends me to two doctors. Yeah. Which is not a good sign. So that they had they they had the it's a huge shot, right? And they had it they had it in my shoulder for three to four minutes. Yeah. And uh, but it does work. Yeah, it's kind of a miracle drug. Yep, yep, it does work. And and you would know this. Uh, James Mason was in a movie in the fifties that I can't recall the title, where he became a this when it first came out he became a cortisone addict. And they said the movie was so far ahead of its time that public didn't even know how to deal with it. But wait a minute, cortisone addict? How do you become a cortisone addict? Uh, you, I guess you can go to, and it's really, if you start, you're not supposed to use it more than three times a year because it starts to have some really bad effects. But uh, yeah, I don't know why you would become I, addicted I, to it unless you had a lot of pain. Well, but. I had a pain in my hand once. And I went to a doctor, and he gave me a cortisone shot, and it went. It went. The pain never came back. Yeah, you know. It's and, amazing. and then she did this thing in my knee, and it wasn't really supposed to go after the meniscus, which was torn, but the underlying ligament or whatever. And uh, for some reason, I I don't have any pain in that in that leg any longer. So I'm not cranky anymore. <laughs> you know, I found out why old people get cranky. It's because they're hurting all the time. Oh, that's my, that was my theory exactly. You're, you're in pain all the time. Of course you're going to be cranky. Yeah, so please, people, when you have old people and they're cranky, don't make fun of that. I know. They're cranky because of a well, girlfriend who is almost as old as I am, okay, doesn't understand it. She says, you were so mean to me last week. You were so cranky. I said, you're cranky when you're in pain. I said, when you've got back pain, you're not nice to me. 
No. You know, because you can't put up with the small shit, the minutia of life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, being I in pain is not good. No, being in pain, in pain, not good. <laughs> and that's all these, if there's anyone young listening to us, that's what you've got to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, what's that sound here? Oh, well, there we go. I think I, uh, talk to me some more now. See. Okay. Well, I wish I could remember the name of that James Mason movie. Yeah, but, uh, you're a little louder now. I get I'm sure you've seen it. Yeah. And now I have crackliness in this volume switch. Oh, boy, that's wonderful. That's terrific. Okay. Oh, well. At least you're not on dial-up. Yeah, at least I'm not on dial-up. Yeah. So how? what have you been doing lately? Let's see. I've been, have I been, I've been working fair. I didn't think I'd be working at this age, so I'm still working because I didn't repair for retirement. Yeah. And uh, that's <clears> about <throat> it. I was hoping to get uh, caught a call from our old buddy Rob Schneider, so I might be working with him a little this year. So. Yeah, yeah. He said to say hi. He likes you. He loves you. Well, I, I think the world of Rob. Rob's always been very nice to me. I've always been very nice to him. There, it, I always I always feel bad about Rob because he's always the butt of jokes, you know? He really is, yeah. You know, they must have butted him eight million times on Family Guy, you know, with jokes about, or, uh, in Rob Schneider movie, blah, 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 you know, and and I don't think he's ever really deserved it. No, he's, uh, he's a good guy. He's very generous. Yeah. And he's had a, uh, if you look at his IMDb, he's just... Even if he's been some bad movies, but I mean, he's done a ton of work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I mean, I mean, he's done a ton of work, and I do think he's capable. You know, he did that series recently for Netflix, uh, and I thought it was very good. I haven't seen it yet, but he's still. I think he just wrapped up his third season. And I think he's going to keep that going. He's, oh, really? There are going to be more because I. Yeah, I, and he's, that's uh, he produced a lot of that with. I know some of his own money's in that. So. Well, he his wife is the co-star, mm-hmm. and I think it's a real kid that they use in, in the show, and it's. I thought it was a very good show. I, you know, in fact, I sometimes you know when somebody like Rob says to me, "Hey, I, I, you're, I would like you to look at this. You got to take a look at it. Tell me what you think." I'm reluctant, okay, because especially if it's somebody I like. You don't want to tell them it sucks. Well, if it sucks, then I, I, you know, I. Yeah, you're in an awkward position. What's my job as a friend, you know? What is my obligation? Is it to um, be a sycophant and say, oh, wonderful, Rob. Gee, great work. You know, you're going, oh, that thing sucked. So I hate to watch these things because if I have to do the big lie, I'm not very good at it. You know, so I uh, uh, I watched this thing and I went, well, you know, we're going to have to we're going to have to uh, uh, figure out what we're going to do with this uh, if it's not any good. And I watched it and I said, oh, thank God. (laughs) It was such a relief that I could when I talked to him next, I went, that's a good piece of work, Rob. You know, it's really good. Good. You know, so that was uh, that was a terrific thing for him. Yeah, Uh-oh. and uh, I guess Netflix seems to be cornering the market us on stand-up these days. Or yeah. The money there. <laughs> what they pay Chappelle? $60 million? A- for- 80. 80. 80? Yeah, for, for, three, for three stand-up shows. Holy crap. Well, you know, right now they're rolling in dough. You know, I wondered how they were paying for all this shit, and then I suddenly did the math, and at about 10 bucks a month, for a you know for for a thing a, a subscription uh, ten bucks a month uh, and you and they've got something like they've got more people worldwide I think than HBO now uh, but they've got something in the in, in the in the area in the United States of something like 50, 60 million people so that's sixty million times ten every month that's a lot of money coming in. And that's a lot of money they can expend, so they can afford it. Wow, that. yeah, they can, they can definitely pay that then. The only problem they're going to have is if, if they make big mistakes. And all of a sudden, nobody wants to watch the goddamn thing because all the shows suck. But I don't think that's a possibility right now. No, they're, uh, God, I should that's another one. Another stock we should have jumped on five years ago. Yeah, well, of course. You know, but who, 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 who couldn't thunk? 
You know, to me, Netflix was like, oh, I, I wouldn't even buy Netflix. I, who, I don't want my videos coming through the mail. You know, I want to see yeah. this movie now. I don't want to see it yesterday. And yet, do you know they've still they still kept their uh, their uh, um, movies by mail business going because they tried to close it down and too many people complained. Oh wow! Too many old school people like me, probably. Yeah, right. People who have dial up. <laughs> no, I can't. You know, everybody I talk to, whether it's Pearl, whether it's Durst, uh, whether it's Ruben. I always mention you and fucking dial up. I, and, we, well, <laughs> and we think that defines you better than any single factor we can think of. <laughs> I'm a Luddite. <laughs> it's, it's not that you're a Luddite. You, a Luddite is somebody, I believe, who doesn't like technology and refuses mm-hmm. to accept it. You would accept it. It's just that you don't understand it. I don't understand it, yeah. What don't you understand about technology? Let me be your teacher here. Let me be your uh, mentor. I don't understand how... uh, I have no idea how a computer works, and there's so much... Like, I can go in and get my email, and that's about it. I don't know how to cut and paste or send somebody a photo. I I would like to learn how to do all that crap. You know what it is? Nobody's ever sat down and showed you, because you're not stupid. No, 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 they haven't. You're not stupid, and this is simple stuff. You know, you, you could if t- everyone's doing it, it must be, it can't be that complicated, I would think. So. Well, you know, it, it, it's a question. What do you need the computer for? Do you need to cut? Uh, pretty much just email. Yeah. So cut and paste might be an important function. Yeah, exactly. For you to drag and drop something into a letter you're sending. But last night, this is how bad I'm going to have to change, because last night I can't even get into Yahoo because they're not, because my operating system is Windows XP. No, no, no. Yeah. So they, I want to come over to your, support gonna, your browser I, I, anymore. I want to come back over to your house. It's like you know, living in the 80s. I wish you could come over here. I may, I should fly you out. <laughs> fly me out and I'll 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 uh, I'll fix everything for you. Oh, it's now, horrible. Now first thing we would do is get you a new computer. Now you say I got to get a new computer and it's uh You say, "Ouch, that's got to be expensive." No, not today. I don't think so. I, the thing I worry about most is getting the high speed because just dealing with AT and T or Comcast is such a pain in the ass. You just tell them you you know you want uh, 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 just a relative speed. You could usually get fifty for oh I don't know what are they charging now somewhere like around twenty nine dollars a month. You can get fifty megabits per second. That's all you need. That's yeah. It's- Boy, when you sit there on dial-up and watch, wait for a page to open and just sit there. I don't sit. even remember what it was like on dial-up, okay? Oh, my. oh, it's horrible. By the time you came over to my apartment in the marina, I was off a of dial-up and on to DSL. I remember. <laughs> which was slow, which was fucking slow. But comparison to, to dial-up, I mean, you know. And do you still hear that sound, that... Yeah, yeah, huh? You mean they even service that anymore well this is the odd thing i read that uh in san francisco there's fifty thousand people still on dial-up really yeah and uh, they said i think three million nationwide <sighs> and they keep talking about it. they keep saying they're going to give everybody free high-speed internet in san francisco I mean, they've been saying that for 10 years but yeah but then you would have to get a you'd have to get a modem that would like a modem yeah God, I, you know what it is? I think you just haven't cared. You know, and you've had no no prescient need for it. Yeah, that's it. I don't do work on it or anything, but it's. I do like to get my email, so I'm going to have to. Now that I'm shut out on Windows XP, I got to do something. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's interesting. I find that <laughs> I find that. <laughs> Huh? Was XP one of the better or worst things that Windows put out? XP was actually for its day. XP was the gold standard. That's what I, somebody told me. Oh, they love that system. Yeah, that system was a. It was a good system. Which were, which was the biggest dog? Uh, I think it was uh, uh, the one that followed it, maybe, which was Windows ME. I think it was called. It was a Millennium, maybe? Yeah, for the Millennium, maybe it came out. Yeah, Yeah. I heard that was a bad one. That was a bad one. 
The current version, Windows 10, is pretty good. I use it uh, for most of my stuff for the show at night. Um, and uh, I, I find it quite acceptable. Uh, but XP was, was, XP was actually quite flawless. It, it, when they finally decided they were going to drop XP, everybody went, why? You know, you got something good, just improve on it. Don't change yeah. it, you know. But they needed to, and now they needed to again with this Windows 10. They need to keep up with the technology and with the way people work. And, uh, and they also need it so it's cross-platform now. So that, I'll explain this word to you. It's probably a heady term for you. <laughs> so follow me if you can. Cross-platform is that it works on an iPad, works on an iPhone, works on a phone, works on a desktop. You know, it's basically the same system that encompasses all of them, except that it recognizes what it's on and then it adapts to it. Okay. So this way they can, they can have one umbrella program for everything that they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maybe I'd be better off getting a like an iPad. Well, uh, certainly easier to use. I you know if you're typing or writing, you you do have typing functions on them. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you have a virtual keypad you use. Um, that might not be the worst thing for you. Yeah, although I kind of I do like a keyboard, so or a real keyboard because. You know, and you can, but iPads are not cheap. You know, unfortunately, Apple is never cheap. Um, and you're not, a, you're not a big Apple fan. Well, no, I'm. I have my. Uh, I'm my main main computer here is an Apple. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I got a PC again. I hadn't used one for about ten years because girlfriend at her office. Uh, they got her a new computer, and they said, you want this one? And I said, yeah, sure. And it was a Lenovo PC. And I thought, I'd, I'll just use it for grins, right? And I turned the thing on, and it was so fucking powerful, it was ridiculous. Uh, wow. The thing has a solid-state drive in it for for starting up so that this thing, like, boots in 10 seconds. And I use it for the show at night. I use it to put the video out on Facebook, and uh, um, and then I record on the Mac the audio. But the video, all the video stuff, and all the Skype and all of that is done, now done on the uh, on the uh, um, what do you call it on the uh, uh, PC. And I am uh, I I love the PC. I'm, I'm I'm I I hate to say that because for so many years. When I went to the Mac, I, you know, I was a PC guy all my life. And then when I came to New York, I got into the Mac because I was working doing editing for my friend Steve. And he had Macs for video editing. And I got to really like, because I did a lot of video editing in my life, I loved the, the, the Mac for that. And so I went and started buying Macs all the time and didn't look back until this PC came along. And now I go, you know, this PC, I, if, I, if, this, if my Mac died, I could live with the PC. Let me put it that way. Maybe I should get a Lenovo. Eh? Lenovo's are cheap. They're not expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but you might want to get something portable for yourself. Yeah. You know, whether it's, a, whether it's a laptop or whether it's an iPad or, you know, what have you. Um, God, I remember when we were on the radio that uh, it was, Apple was so close to going under. Yep. And you said they need to come out with a PC. Uh, uh, they know, well. I said what they needed to do. Yeah, they needed to take the technology they had and apply it to the PC operating system. Uh, yeah, and yeah. They, and they didn't do that, but they did something very similar. Here's why I went to the Mac. I was invested in PCs. Every program I had was a PC program, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that does not mean politically correct, folks. It means personal computer. And all of a sudden, uh, Mac comes out with a uh, with in, with an Intel um, chip, and the Intel chip was the same chip that the PCs used. So you could now run Apple, or rather PC programs on your Mac. And that's the reason I went to the Mac because if I needed to use a PC program. I could go and use it on my Mac. So that's why I switched. Uh, and that was their smart move, too. 
because they got a lot of people who were into PCs who were afraid of making the switch because all their programs would not be usable, now had a, 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 a platform where they could be usable. And through a simple yeah. program, or a couple of companies came out with programs that you just, you just clicked on the app and it opened it up and all of a sudden, you've got a PC on your desktop instead of a Mac. So that's what helped Apple with their home market. That would have been a good time to buy this stock 20 years ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, yes. Uh, although, you know, um, don't buy it now because I think it's going to start going down. I think there are uh, little little rumblings that there are problems with the Mac and with all the Apple stuff. Oh, really? Well, well they're, they're coming out. All the tech stocks have been going down the past week. They're coming, they're coming out with the new uh, Apple, um, uh, you know, uh, iPhone 8. But the 8 has a problem. The 8 is, is going to run at a significantly higher rate. It, it, it's uh, able to pick up high-speed uh, phone lines, okay? In other words, right now we're at something like, I don't know, 100 megabytes per second. This thing will take it up to 500, and the systems are going to be capable of, of, a, t- of, of, a, of, a, of a gigabyte. I know this is all getting very heady for you, but just a lot, just <laughs> no, a, lo- actually like a lot of speed. And supposedly the new uh, Apple phone is only capable of about half that speed, where all the other companies are building chips into their uh, into their phones that will be able to get up to that speed. Now that doesn't mean that every system in the United States is going to be capable of that speed. But you know, if you buy a phone now and you plan to keep it for two or three years, you like two or three years down the line for it to be able to keep up with the technology. And this new Apple iPhone eight may not be able to. So that's yeah, they don't have the. Uh, I think they're missing jobs and in that innovation that he had. Well, it, it, Jobs, how can I put it? Jobs wasn't. It wasn't that he was an innovator. Job, jobs, I called him a good IKEA salesman. You know, he sold great looking furniture and he knew how to make good looking furniture and how to make that furniture. You feel comfortable sitting in the chair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what where his real genius was. He didn't know how to program, but he knew what he wanted. He knew he knew what he wanted to play. with. He knew what he wanted and would get guys that could make that. stuff. Well, Well, I had this friend Paul up at Play Incorporated who died a few years back and he was that kind of guy. And we often talked about the fact that he and I were both people that were good at telling a technician, here's what I want. Here's what yeah. I'd like to play with. But we didn't know how to build it. You know, we couldn't do that, but we knew we wanted it. So we were capable of getting it. Uh, and, and so uh, uh, Steve Jobs is valuable in that he couldn't, he couldn't build the architecture, but he could tell you, you know, I want a phone where I got these little things you press and the things pop up. We'll call them apps, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's where his genius was, mm-hmm. you know. And the fact that he he pulled a company out of uh, out of disrepair financially, which is interesting because he's the guy that put it into that position in the first place. <laughs> so you know, it was it was a very strange story and a very strange comeback success. But remember always when I when I say this to you, I'll ask you a question: What was the reason for Apple's comeback? What 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 computer innovation? That's just what I was going to ask you. I was trying to remember. It was. Uh, it wasn't even a computer. It couldn't have been the iPod. That you're absolutely right. It was the iPod. Really? Well, yeah. I got it right. The iPod put them back in business, and it it wasn't. And here here's a here's a thing where uh, Steve Jobs says, "You know what? I would love to have what I've always wanted to have is my entire music library in my pocket." And then he said, "Make it so." And they went out and made it so, and it, they worked on the form factor, and the form factor was kind of cool, and it became huge, and that was the beginning of it. iPhone came next. The iPhone was an i, you know, an iPod with a with a phone inside. So. That's right. So yeah. you see, I gave you a little information today on the history of uh, computing. Well, it's, uh, it's interesting. I like it. Now, we'll, we'll, next, we'll teach you of, of, about uh, uh, non dial up internet. Where it's, can, can you, it's got to change. This is driving you, me insane. I'll tell you the biggest thing I had to learn when I first got my first uh, uh, internet connection like that was that what I never have to turn it off. 
Yeah. It's always on? What is that? But we'll teach you that in lesson number two next week as Larry learns tech. <laughs> Larry. Hey, Larry, thanks. Thanks for having me, buddy. It's been a lot of fun. We'll do it again next week, okay? Got it. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here we are. There we go. And um, I'm here, folks. Uh, it's Alex. It's uh, time for the uh, the uh, actual uh, citizen panel portion of the uh, of the ramble to take place. Uh, and uh, let me turn on my uh, Skype. Now, last night we did a, a special program here last night testing uh, the most recent uh, iteration of, uh, of of Skype to see if I could get it to work OK and get it to um, uh, uh, pick up calls and things like that, and it worked. So uh, hopefully tonight we won't have any problems at all. So I'm hoping. I would wear a shirt tonight, but uh, boy, it's uh, if you can hear, if you listen closely, hear that? Here, there you go. You can hear the uh, the uh, sound of my air conditioner uh, conditioning. Uh, and uh, it's been brutally hot here in New York. It was uh, 95 today, going up to 96. And uh, right now, I think it's like 88 or something like that. So I've got to get the, have the air conditioning on here, if not for me, for the equipment, which warms up and gets too damn hot. Anyway, our lines are open, and we're ready to take your calls, and we want to hear you um, uh, and talk to you and uh, make sure that this whole thing works as well as it did last night. Uh, you may notice a few different things if you're watching us on uh, Facebook Live to begin with. The images are going to be a lot clearer from the callers. Also, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, we can now see you. Uh, that's another innovation uh, here. And also, all the pictures, all the different callers will be kind of widescreen now. So it's a, it's a slightly different look, and I have to get used to positioning everything in the right place. But I'm now sitting here waiting for our first call to come in. And um, let me see here. I'm, I'm online. Everything's ready to go. Uh, I'm just, I just got to wait and get a call from somebody to make sure this whole damn thing works all right. Um, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for somebody to call, um, I got some disturbing news today. Um, my second wife, Ronnie, uh, who uh, I've become very good friends with, in the in recent years uh, called me today to inform me that she has pancreatic cancer uh, she says it's still it's it's in, in an earlier stage uh, so she's got about a 30 percent survival rate for five years with this thing she's having a major operation and our thoughts go out to her uh, you know this is starting to really hit home to me because people close to me are getting these these horrible maladies anyway uh where is it nobody's calling at all come on you're being ridiculous so anyway uh so uh i just uh i just want you to know that uh um I, and i'm not telling tales out of school here because uh, she has a, a site called uh, time goes by uh dot com uh in which she uh, deals with people getting older and she revealed uh, in her uh, uh, page that she um, she has pancreatic cancer and how it came about and all of that and if you want to read a really fascinating article on the subject she's a great writer you should go over there and read it well here we go Scott Boddicker is the first guy on the line tonight uh, hello hello Scott let's see hey there, there he is H how you doing oh sorry to hear about your Ronnie. Yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, you, you got to keep a good thought out on yeah. stuff like this, you know. What are the symptoms? You well, here's the thing. With pancreatic cancer, the reason most people die from it is that it's hard to detect. Yeah. And it, 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 all the things that happen to you are things that it's not like, oh, yeah, that's pancreatic cancer. You right. know, she had a, a terrible itching. She had her at one point, her urine was... Uh, bright yellow uh and uh neon she said neon yellow wow you know uh there were other situations uh she lists a whole list of them 
Sure. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure she, it does. I never heard of anybody catching it, you know, early stages of pancreatic cancer. Just not yeah. heard that. All. Yeah. Well, she called it. Uh, she called it the mystery malady while she had it. She didn't. She had no idea what it was. Sure. Uh, okay. And uh, finally. Um, uh, somebody got her to a uh, some kind of facility where they know this the kind of stuff, a research place, and they they did one test after another after another, and finally said yeah, you've got pancreatic cancer, but it hasn't left the pancreas, so we can go in there, but it's going to be a massive operation, and it's going to take her about six months to get better from the operation, you know. So can they they take it out? They transplant? Yeah, they take they take it. I think they remove the pancreas. Yeah. Yeah, it can be, the pancreas uh, can be uh, supplemented by having, I don't know, pills of some sort or another that will take care of it. I don't know what it does. It controls the liver somehow, I think. Uh, It it has something to do with your digestive system. I, uh, you know, it's one of those uh, things you've got that isn't exactly anywhere that you go to find it. You know, if you had a pain, you wouldn't say, oh, my pancreas is hurting today. You know, you say I have a stomach ache or whatever, but you know, I just, I just hate to see this happen to her. Oh, what you, sure. You got flies in there? Yeah, I did. Uh, one just flew by me. I swatted at yeah. him. You saw me, but yeah. yeah, you're you're slightly out of sync tonight. I don't know why, but that's I'm okay. Sick. That's all right. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just the. No. But where's everybody else? Last night we did a test and we had like not eight people. Yeah, got eight, I think. Yeah. yeah, and tonight it's like nobody's calling. What? What is this? What did I do? Did I upset people? Did I upset the Skype gods? Probably. Probably. It's probably something you did. It's yeah. 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 It, probably because I didn't say this is a test show. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. That'd have but, been better. But, but your picture looks gorgeous. Does it? Yeah. Okay. And if somebody else would call, we could see if this whole thing is working again tonight. Because I was so worried it wasn't going to work last night. That's why I did a special show, because they, they've they changed Skype. And uh, one of the things they changed made it more difficult for us to do the citizens panel. But all of a sudden, I guess they either corrected it or something. Now, let me say to people out there, if you want to call me and you've never called before, I can put you on, but I've got to go through some mechanics to do it. But if you want to get directly on, you simply go to... Uh, uh, contacts and then add contact and go GabNet Live and it'll tell me that you want to be recognized as a as a contact and I think that way you can call just directly into the show. Otherwise, if you call, I then have to go over and say add to group and whatever and then you're on. But if you're now, if you're on an iPhone, you're on an iPad, or you're you know you're on any mobile device, Android. we Android. Can, we can see you. Uh, here comes uh, f- first of all. Here comes Rob. Let's see here. There's Rob, and there's, uh, there we go. We just added, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, this is a nice, pretty bunch of people. Look at that. All three, uh, they're, oh, I see. I've got to do something. Three here. Stooges oh, here, right? Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, dynamic view, switch hey, cameras, hey, dynamic view. Okay. Let me see here. See, dynamic am view. Am I on? I can't tell. I mean, I guess you're on. Full I can see full screen. Now, wait a minute. Now, okay. let me go to exit a normal view. There we go. And then I go exit full screen. Yeah, I, I guess I guess it, it doesn't know what it wants to do here exactly. But uh, we got we, we have you all, uh, except uh, John isn't widescreen. I guess maybe you haven't got your camera I'm, set to it. Well, it's just the camera on the uh, on the MacBook, so I don't know if that's uh, on anything the MacBook. Yeah, anything. those cameras suck. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a laptop camera. So yeah, yeah, it's a laptop. But, yeah, but otherwise, you guys look terrific, you know, and you all got on okay. Hello, Rob. Oh, yeah. How are you hey doing? There. How are you doing? All right. How are you? I'm uh, I'm much better, thank it's, you. Uh, you sound I, it. Yeah, I I uh, whatever I had was look at you. What? You look better too, from a, oh. compared to Friday. Oh, well, fri- Friday, Friday. Well, or what was whatever, it? Thursday. Thursday. You Thursday are. I was. Uh, yeah. I, I have no idea yeah. how I looked, but for some reason the antibiotics and everything kicked in, and I, uh, you know, Good. while I feel a little puny tonight, I think because of allergies and the heat. Uh, yeah. Basically, I'm. You know, it's not like I was for even weeks, mm. so it's uh, pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think my allergies are kicking in. If I have, I've never really been diagnosed, but I had to, I had to do some recording uh, over the weekend uh, 
to uh, narrate a program, and you can hear I I, I sound like I've got a cold. <laughs> I, had to, I had to keep taking more takes because I kept running out of breath. Well, I was know, listening to the interview the that pollen. I was doing with Bubbles earlier today, and I can tell that I still have a little bit of the cold because I, <clears throat> I have a roughness in my in my mm-hmm. voice, which I don't normally have. Guess who? Just... <coughs> oh, there we go. Now, <laughs> there we go. Going. <laughs> look, look what they gave me. They gave me one of these things. Oh, an yeah. inhaler. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like one of those asthmatic kids at school, yeah. you know. <laughs> it helps. It does help. I had one for a while years ago when I was really having some, when I was 50 pounds heavier and was having problems breathing in the summer. Yeah. And it worked pretty well. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't need it very often. It was just occasionally you get a little, <clears throat> you know, and it just, yeah. it does it does the job. So guess who I'm having lunch with tomorrow? Oh God! You you, I don't, I you think wouldn't of, know. I think you, would, some you wouldn't people. know. These two guys would know when I say who it is. Okay, I might though, right? Uh, I haven't seen this person in maybe two years. Albert. Yes. You got it. Oh, great! Yeah, cool. Yeah, he yes. wrote me and he said, "Would you like to have lunch?" I said, "Sure." Uh, and uh, so he's going to meet me tomorrow. We're going to go have some lunch. And I haven't seen him in a long time. He's one of my favorite people. So you know. Okay, yeah, I like him. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, it's a good guy. Miss him around here. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, he, he has his own agenda. Whatever that agenda is, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, so I guess it's going to be a quiet night tonight. Where's Phil? Phil, yeah, that's did, Phil didn't announce it was going to be a Phil free night. Or maybe he's trying to get his chroma key going. Uh, oh, God. It, huh? Yeah. Well, if we see him in front of the uh, Empire State Building or uh, the Mount Everest, we'll know he had the yeah yeah he had it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, he told him he couldn't do it while he was on the show, so he must be messing with it before the show. Oh, he calls in. You think that's the answer? I I think that is. I think you hit it on the nail. You, think you hit it on the head. Really? Oh, and he's gonna yeah. he's gonna surprise us with uh, with uh, with the thing, right? Perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah, well. Let me see. Could be. Could be. I'm just trying to get my camera set right here. Uh, and there we go. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, I'm wearing shorts now. It's, see, it's that time of the year. Well, it's that time of the year. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Yeah. The only I've trouble... never been a shorts person. Oh, I just I'm not never... really a shorts person either. But uh, th- these shorts I don't like because they've got shallow pockets and I'm afraid to put money in them mm-hmm. for fear that the money will fall out. In fact, there was money in here. <laughs> and, and, and now it's no longer Not in anymore. <laughs> in the chair, huh? Yeah, probably the on the, under the chair, probably. I don't know where it is. When you lean back, oh, I know where it is. Yeah, no, I know where it is. It's in my pocket in my other pants. Okay. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, so um, you can switch everything. So um, uh, anyway, people, uh, you can call us. Uh, um, yeah, got, got uh, space. Uh, uh, the voice of Gabnet. Tell them how they can call. Uh, Gabnet Live four three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. Is that it? You, you could do that, yeah. Uh, okay, or right. or you could or Gabnet uh, Live on Skype. Uh, you go to Gabnet Live on Skype. Oh, here comes Patrick. He's coming online, so we should see him in a few moments. I'm I'm just so happy. I was so happy last night that this whole thing worked. Uh, I'll tell you, this is the first time that I've been on here in months where. I see the video, but there are these round dots circling on everybody's yeah, video. Yeah, you used to get that, yeah. Yeah, no, I get I none of that. that. It's the first time the round, you get the round dots? I'm, not now, no, you're right. No you're round right. dots anymore. Half nope. a second of round dots, and now Patrick's here. And right. here's Patrick, <laughs> wide screen, in yeah. high def. Look at that. In high Crystal def. clear. Huh? Yeah, and Jeff Stein's going to be calling now. See, this this works. Remember how I was so worried that this thing wasn't going to work and I was going to quit the business forever? Uh, <laughs> and all of right. a sudden, I try it and it works. You know, and and the best thing was we had a couple of people on iPhones last night and iPads, and the picture was terrific. And it works. Yes. Oh wow! How about that? <laughs> yep. Uh, and here comes uh, here here comes uh, Jeff Stein. Hi, Jeff. There we go. Oh, there see, there he is in widescreen. So the only person who's square is is John Rockwell, but he always has well, been. So. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm terribly square. <laughs> yeah. Hi. 
<laughs> I was the guy. I was the guy along with Bill Clinton that never inhaled, basically. Really? <laughs> Even though my next door neighbor was selling the stuff in college, I just was like, no, you know, <laughs> sorry. I feel like one I, of these, I like my lungs too well. I feel, yeah, I, 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 yeah, feel like I one, inhaled that. Right. I, 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 I can uh, feel like yeah, a real yeah. wimp with this thing now. Yeah. You know? But she said I had a little bronchitis. <laughs> it so, clears the. You know. Yeah, it clears. It clears the. Clears, clears See, the, those so bronchioles what, what, or whatever. What I love no, about this no. walk-in clinic is, as opposed to your personal doctor who goes, oh, it's just a, it's a flu, it'll, it's a cold, you'll get over it. Yeah. They give you all kinds of drugs because they know you might not come back again and they don't want you dropping dead. Right, so. and then suing them. <laughs> exactly. And here's, uh, here's, uh, um, um, let's see here, there's the Tony. The regulars line up. Well, there, well there's oh, Tony. There we go. There we go. It's coming. Hi, Tony. How are you? All right. It's horrible in work. Well, well, Why we is that too hot? It's like 100 degrees today. Oh, oh. index. I tell you, I couldn't wait to get out of that joint. <laughs> Here, the heat wave is over after today. It's going to drop yeah. down. To I was going to leave. Yeah. I was going to leave early. Here, too. Uh, here, where, where is it? Sitting? Seventy-nine tomorrow, seventy oh, over the weekend. Good. So we're, you oh, know, okay. We're yeah. getting rid of that. We're getting rid of the heat wave. Thank God. Yep. Brutal. Yeah. And yeah. My, my car. I, I had a long drive today. My car said ninety-nine at one point. Oh shit! I hate in the car. It's like this. Yeah. The, well, in the thermo the thermometer in the car said. Oh, right. the outside, right? Outside mm -hmm. temp. I was going to say, geez, you no. Know. Uh, oh really? Oh, here comes Phil. Here comes Phil. He's crawling. Oh, there we go. There's Fred Phil. Okay. Hey, hey, Phil. Oh, he's got it's the green screen, screen up. Screen. Yeah, yeah, I knew. He was. <laughs> you turn that green screen on. I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't oh, come on! Yet. I want to see it. Yeah, I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. You haven't figured it out it's yet. Like sessions. Oh, we just yeah. lost. It's confused. <laughs> I was, I was saying, I don't know. <laughs> Did you know what you said? I don't know what I said. Right. <laughs> you stole all your stuff. It's a nice green background, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's on the water. <laughs> Look. Oh. It just green, looks like green construction paper. <laughs> no, it's fabric. Oh, it's fabric. Oh, here comes Tom all Yamaguchi. We is, all we need is height markings. It could be a lineup. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Tom Yamaguchi, and Tom, are you on your phone tonight, or are you on the on the PC? Are you? Are you? I think he's still sort of connected. And what there. happened? What happened to Jeff Stein? We lost Jeff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He, yeah, I don't see Jeff. Hopefully, no, he 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 popped off there. Oh, I see. Here comes Jeff Stein. Okay. Here comes Jeff, and uh, then I add Tom to the group. Tom, are you there? Hello, Tom. Can you hear us? I don't know. Huh. You know what? I, you know I what I don't see, like about you see the, the picture. What the Mac? The Mac version of Skype is that in the beginning, before there's too many callers on, it like gives me four or five different windows with everybody on it. Now that like it's near a full house, mm. I get one big picture and then everybody little on the bottom. Yeah, oh, you, can, you can you can change I don't that. Like that. You can change uh, that. How? How do you change that? At the very that? top I, of. Uh, if uh, I uh, click uh, on you, then see, you're the you big see, picture. See, and everybody right. else is small. Look, like, right. small. look, look at the top of your Skype. Oh. At least it should on the PC. It's there. Uh, it's um, it's three dots. See that? Uh, you see three I dots up there. It, it might be on the bottom on 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 the Mac, but they're like three dots. And if you oh. and it says like on the upper left. Upper left? No, no, maybe, no, oh, that's, not it. that's not it. That's Who, not it. Who's got a Mac no. out there right now? I do. I don't get that because I've got three dots, but that's just. Well, uh, if, if, you, if you put, if you go over it, it time. says it says screen options for this call, and you can then say you want uh, dynamic view, you want this view, you want that view, whatever. I think that's a Windows thing because I don't see that here with. Uh, I don't either. We keep losing Jeff. What happens to Jeff? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Could be having internet problems tonight. It could be because nobody else is having problems staying on. No, yeah. yeah, no, it's a good thing. I just I can't stand this version of Skype. Uh, it's uh, it, it, but you can you can make it, like for instance, I had to apportion everything on this screen so it looks this way. Otherwise, everything would go along the bottom, and then the one picture would be on the top. 
So you that's have, what I got. Yeah, you have a different. But if you go to those three dots, you do. There are no three dots. There are no three dots. Well, there may be a thing uh, up here. Uh, let's see here, on on views. Oh, here the we place. go. Uh, there's a thing called views, and it says split window yeah. view, full screen. Yep. Sidebar. I am full screen. Yeah. You jump back. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. for something else. No. Compact sidebar view. No. No. Nope. No. It, 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 all I know is there are three dots. If you, if you were to uh, okay. hover your yeah. if you were to hover your air, your cursor over the field, there are like right. three dots. There's also like a graph kind of thing right next to it, and there's also the uh, uh, show uh, I am. In other words, there's the I am thing with the little. Oh, look at that! See, somebody hung up, and boom! Now I got six, three. I got six different boxes on my screen. How about you, John? Huh. Nope. <laughs> Oh, this is oh now I do. This is I magic. Yeah. Well, somehow, somehow Tom Yamaguchi hasn't been able to get in. I don't know. Next why. person that calls, it'll go back to one, and then like a film strip along. No, the but what I'm saying is, Probably. if you can find that option, you can set what your screen has, whether it has a dynamic view, whether it has a. There's a. Let me see I'm, here. I'm not finding right it. Right here, I see I have available dynamic view, full screen view, switch cameras. Yeah, but you're using Windows. I'm using Windows. Yeah. Well, well I. Don't, I, I um, the Mac version just doesn't have that. Hold on a second. Nope. I'll, I'll, maybe yeah. I'll go to my Mac version and, s and see. Sidebar. What, huh? Yeah. You can get rid of the sidebar, Boy, yeah, but yeah. that's the only thing. Yeah, I got rid of the there sidebar. There are three, three lines screen. that will hide the sidebar, but I got, yep, there are no the other dots. I knew this was going to be fun tonight. Yeah, this wow. Really <laughs> I'm trying to solve the problem for you guys. Exactly. I'm signing on to my other Skype. Uh, I could actually call yeah. myself, but I'm not going to. Let me see here. Where would that be on here? Huh. That's uh, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't see it let's either. See. I've been looking. Yeah. On. Yeah, you get that stupid film strip along the bottom, and everybody is tiny. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Makes me a smaller. Uh, and I'm the only screen. tiny one at the huh. moment on my, my screen. Me too. Yeah. yeah. You, you will always be tiny. I, have, right. I know. Well, who, yeah, who here? Who here has a PC? Uh, you have. A, do you have a P, do You have a PC, Patrick. What do you have? Uh, uh, no, you have a Mac. MacBook Pro. Yeah, MacBook Pro. Uh, and what are you? you what are you using, uh, Phil? Uh, besides trying a, to figure uh, out how to put the. Besides trying to figure out how to put the Taj Mahal in your background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that's the wrong Mac Mini. Am I am I right? You were in TV, right, Rob? That green is what? not chroma chroma green. Uh, mm. it's darker than normal chroma key green, but I, any color really you can use. It'll probably work. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's most good. of them are most of them are more far, phosphorescent and colored, but that could be the way it's lit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I've got uh, just a couple of lights up against the. Uh, isn't it hot in there with all those lights? No, I got a fan. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Yeah, you got. I got two wait, lights. Wait, 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 wait. You're just a caller to a goddamn Skype show for crying out hey. loud. <laughs> Phil goes all in. So you gotta love that about. I'm the Phil. host of the show, and in. look at me. I'm I'm in this room full of, full of tchotchkes. You He's know? gonna pull the software out. Like, oh, <laughs> Phil goes all in. Man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wonder what happened to Jeff. Jeff was having trouble. The yeah, one? He, he yeah. kept looking, and it looked like he couldn't hear or see anything. Wow, because everybody else has been able to get in okay. And then Tom, no, it, it's Tom, Tony definitely, Tom uh, Yamaguchi was having a problem, too. Let me see here. I could try and add him to the call. I could try calling Tom on Skype and see if he picks up. You know, um, that's always possible. That's what. That's one of the things I can do now. Don't do that, Phil. It's annoying. <laughs> oh, see now, Tom joined. The light out of the. No, Tom, the Tom, are you there? Yeah, you called me. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, well how how are you having trouble? Uh, turn on your camera. Oh, I thought it was on. Let's see. Try this. So oh, there now. we go. Now you see. Hey, there oh. he is. He's in bed. He's lying down. He's wide screen. It's. Uh, are, are yeah, you, it's my, a blue yeah. screen. I, yeah, I'm using my iPhone. Yeah, you're using your iPhone. Uh, uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, my uh, my Mac, my old MacBook is getting real old, so I, 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 uh, I'm not connecting very well with that. Yeah. So I try, I'm trying the phone again. 
Yeah, well, I noticed that Jeff isn't online, so he must be having some problems up there. So, but I thought I'd call you back. What were you? How were you having trouble getting in or hearing us or something earlier? Yeah, I, tr I, I did just what I the same thing I did last night, but there was just no connection. Oh. And then I went back on to I went on the Facebook and I saw my icon there. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah. Well, so I don't know what happened, but well, last night it worked just fine. We got uh, we got lots of people here, so you know this is cool. This is good. Um, so anyway, anybody see Jeff Sessions today? What? Yeah, I saw him. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the he look on. on oh, he was on late. <laughs> well, I like I like the look on uh, on on Tessic 1138's face when he when he went. Yeah, but uh, no, I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> He, he's, he's a pretty ugly guy to look at for, you know. He's a big ears, that, too. It, Yeah, he looks like a... I wanted to flip his ears. He's a cartoon like, character. Yeah, he looks like... Yeah, he did. Look, yeah. When you look at him straight on, his ears are flapping out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I just love the way this whole thing is going. It's getting hilarious again. It's getting funny. You know, this is a guy who went up for... How long was he there? Two hours, two and a half hours? Oh, at least, yeah. Yeah. And I uh, got there two and a half hours, was there for two and a half hours, and basically didn't say anything. He, he managed to kind of like skirt everything. Yeah. You know, and if he didn't want to answer it, it was, well, that's, uh, that's classified. Well how, do, well, how do we know it's fucking classified, <laughs> asshole? Actually, yeah. he was using client attorney privilege. Yeah. As yeah. if, as if he's. As, as if he is Trump's personal lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. It, but did you see it at all, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Uh, he, uh, he did no harm. You know, he, uh, he avoided some questions. Well, of uh, course he did no harm by not <laughs> answering <laughs> questions. But he was asked to come down there. Why? To answer some questions. Well, he he answered I, the questions. He he didn't he didn't hurt anything. He didn't help anything. I think yeah. he I think he hurt more than he helped because he hurt, him, when, hurt himself. No, I, well he hurt the entire. Because again, if full disclosure, if you if you're gonna go with full disclosure, it means go ahead look look in the drawers, look look all around. We have nothing to hide. Sounds like these guys have something to hide. Mm-hmm. All yeah, I'm saying sound that way, but uh, it did sound uh, that Comey, way. Come on, Phil. No, Comey uh, now and, and now and a number of other people have basically said that there's no real connection between Trump and Russia. Then why won't they speak freely? Why should he uh, uh, give them any uh, uh, anything <laughs> what, that would what, what, uh, what? they could use to try to hurt him? But why shouldn't he? If what could hurt him if he did nothing yeah. wrong? He did exactly. nothing wrong, but people uh, can construe, and they say when there's smoke, there's fire, and uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of people out there that uh, want to fan the flames. Well, oh, no, I fellow. mean, uh, I, I, the thing is that the best way to defuse this whole situation is to be just forthcoming. You know, but they aren't being forthcoming. They always leave something that the, you can sit around and ponder about. Seems that way. I mean, I mean, his answers seem very suspicious. If you want to, uh, what you have to do is you have to give the impression that you're completely forthcoming. You know, and he didn't do that. The act, the act of being forthcoming, is more important than just telling the truth. Telling the but truth. But he didn't tell the truth. He left a lot of stuff out. And he's kept saying, well, in case the president wants to use the uh, executive, executive privilege. privilege, I mean, that's bullshit. Well, you know, the, he's got a right not to self incrimination. He doesn't want to. Oh, self incrimination. Uh, so then he's got a reason to worry. Not necessarily. <laughs> See, you're, you're right there trying to fan the flames. No, I'm just right there. At, I heard the frustration in the senators who were asking questions. Well, I mean, you're the, obstructing. The, the, well, you're not giving any information. Well, they said we bring you in here because we would like some answers, and you're not giving us any answers. Right. Well, maybe there are no answers to give. Maybe there are, Phil. Is there a possibility there are answers to give? Well, will you there's, will you there's, accept there's, that there's that possibility? Well, there's the possibility that there are no answers to give. 
You know, it's it's uh, very simple. Oh, yeah. I tonight I had a very interesting experience. I watched a world leader who I actually liked. Putin. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Did you see the Oliver Stone interview with P Putin? I saw, I saw part of it. Uh, I, I uh, turned it off. Uh, I, I have no great love for Oliver Stone, okay? But I got to tell you, he did a great job. Yeah, and I like Putin. I mean, he, he, now, that was a guy that acted in a way that you would have been happy. And, uh, you know, one minute you call him a killer, and the next minute... Well, uh, I mean, did you, did, he, maybe he was lying about everything he was saying. But did you feel he so. was? Did you feel he was? No. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you know, one is an act, and 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 the other is, is not. Well, I didn't. Know? I didn't order an act for president. Well, that's what you were asking for. You were asking for somebody who can deliver uh, uh, information in a speech that doesn't look like they're reading from a no, teleprompter. No, but I'm saying that here you had you had Putin, a, guy, a Putin, a guy who many people portray as the most evil man in the world. All right, yeah. and there he is with Oliver Stone, being charming, funny, yeah. funny at times, yeah. uh, forthcoming, and explaining. The horrible relationship between the United States and Russia and why he believes it exists. Because he says the United States is trying to control Russia and we won't let you. So, I mean, it takes on a whole different perspective. And you believe that? that? I, you know what I said to girlfriend? She said, well, you know, he's evil. They tried to fix the election and everything. I said, wait a moment. That's what we're being told. But did they? That's the question. Well, that's what somebody. That's so what you're saying that nobody fixed the election. Well, possibly. no, I'm. I'm no, I'm, we, so no I think I, I know who fixed the election. Uh, and her name is Hillary Clinton. Yeah, she fucked up royally, and she's never taken sad. complete credit for that. And and that's that's what Putin said. He said that she ran a lousy campaign. Did she? Did he say that in the interview? Because I didn't see that part. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how how far did you listen? Uh, I did the whole hour, but I, oh, oh. I, I had to leave for a couple of minutes to do something and so on. But uh, uh, I, I I recommend everybody. It's on Showtime that you watch this interview with Putin. It is just it's fascinating, and what also is 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 a great uh, thing to to pay attention to. He shows a clip of Charlie Rose with Putin, mm -hmm. and Putin gets very defensive. Because he says, well, you know, you're known as, what do you think about the fact that people think you're the most evil man in the world? Or some question like that. Because Charlie Rose tries to be the hero of the interview, right? Yeah. Uh, and the Mella uh, Harris. So. Yeah. Uh, Kabbalah. Yeah, what, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep, stop mispronouncing it. Uh, hello, it's Kevin. Kabbalah. How are you, Kevin? Uh, I didn't do it on purpose. Yes, you do. You do no, do that on purpose. Yeah, no, and, that's what I thought it was. Anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. Uh and, and I compared that to the way Stone was handling Putin. And what he was doing was he was just having a casual, interesting conversation. And he wasn't trying to do a gotcha kind of interview. And so, yeah. therefore, Putin was just rattling off all kinds of stuff. You know, you didn't have to drag it out of him. And that's what, I, that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's what I said for years about yeah. interviewing, that the best thing is not to attack somebody. Because what they do is they then go into a shell they're never going to come out of. And so you're just digging into that shell for the rest of the interview. With this thing, it's not like he's kissing Putin's ass, but he's having a conversation with him. And he's respecting the conversation. And i got to hand it to Stone. He did a crackerjack job of it. He, he basically would say to Putin, uh, I understand you did this, this, and this. And Putin would say yes or no, and, there, and then he would elaborate uh, on things like how he became the president, how I think it was Boris Yeltsin uh, uh, that you know that said, uh, you know, I need you to be the president. What I thought was uh, very funny you know, is when it was between they'd done one interview and then a couple of weeks later they did another interview and Stone comes back and says, I just woke up, you know, and I'm uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to do the interview. And he says, been a couple of weeks, and he said uh, something to the effect of, Yes, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't oh, expect and, that and kind of he late, huh? Uh, they were supposed to interview at like three o'clock, and six hours later, yeah, uh, yeah. They're at the table, and yeah. Well, you know, a guy like Putin, you got to get him when you can get him. Yeah. You know, I mean, he is running a country after all. In the yeah. case of 
Trump, you could get him anytime. You know. He's all, he's only watching TV. Yeah, he's only watching TV. <laughs> uh, I got to tell and you, tweeting. This this yeah. interview was is fascinating, and yeah. I absolutely suggest you watch it. There are four of them. This was the first one. It's an hour, and yeah. I he got, I watched the, and he, uh, the I guess a quarter of the first one because uh, I got to the point where they had started to the second interview after the time had passed. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then it was uh, late six hours. Supposedly, the way he got these interviews is when he did the uh, the movie about what's his name, the uh, uh, Snowden. Snowden, that he yeah. got to know Putin at that time. Yeah, uh, and uh, he arranged for the interviews, and it's amazing because this isn't just you know this isn't Megyn Kelly and her little sit down as as Putin's going from point A to point B, okay? Or ch same thing with Charlie Rose. This was. I mean, they were sitting down for, uh, I imagine, the whole four hours. There's probably three hours that they sat with him, three and a half hours they sat with him. <laughs> they sat 20 hours, he said. 20, 20, 20 hours? hours of filming. Wow. And it seems to me like Putin three was enjoying it. Well, it seems like yeah, Putin was beautiful. enjoying it as well. And who, who yeah. did it? Uh, Oliver Stone. Right? Oliver Stone. Yeah. So it wasn't the fake media then? No, it wasn't the fake media. <laughs> I don't know. It was the fake Oliver Stone. Fake director, but yeah. <laughs> no, I've got to say that it was it was eye opening, and I I said to myself, you know, I, the one thing that I have to agree with uh, uh, Donald Trump on is Putin is a hell of a leader. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's a smart, uh, intelligent man who uh, basically speaks in very. It was kind of funny. I found him very humanitarian in a way, you know, especially in his love for the Russian people. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, you know, and let's say it's Except all... Except for the dissidents. Well, yeah. Let, well, uh, very humanitarian. We yeah. <laughs> well, let's say it's all an act, okay? But, man, he pulls it off. And, you know, uh, it, there's you an old the whole... saying. There's an old saying in show business, if you can't be sincere, at least fake it. You know, did, did he say? Any, did he ask him why? Uh, you know, he invaded. Uh, what was it? Uh, was it Crimea or? Uh, I think there was uh, a mention of Crimea. They started talking about uh, the uh, Chechen dissidents and so on, and uh -huh. how he felt that the United States was doing a lot to broil that up. In other words, uh, they they were trying to use that uh, against Russia, so they were kind of like stirring the pot, so to speak. So that's fake media. No, fake country <laughs> called the United States. Reverse fake news. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I compare that to what we've got, and I'm going, you know, at least the Russian people have someone who's representing them, you know, and, and, yeah, get, and getting stuff he, done. He's going to murder you. It's pretty good. Well, I mean, he know? threw out the oligarchs, you know. He s slowed them down completely. Now, so he's a, he, he is one, yeah. They say <laughs> right. he, he may be, yeah. according to Forbes, maybe one of the five richest men in the world. Um, but we don't know, and we'll never know for sure. Um, but uh, he... let's see his taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck on that. Yeah. What he pays taxes? Yeah. Uh, but you not. know, I mean, let let's be honest about something. Uh, and I don't want to sound naive about tr tr uh, about Putin. I'm sure he's not a swell guy. I'm sure he has uh, done some terrible things. But the fact of the matter is that what are we to believe about Putin? What our government tells us about him? I mean, are we, are we supposed to believe that version of it? Or we, can we believe a version of maybe we see Oliver Stone interviewing him and we're saying, this guy kind of makes sense. This guy kind of seems a little more genuine than I thought he was. Because the Putin you get in this interview is not the Putin that's being reported by the United States. What did Trump say about Putin? He said he was a strong leader. Uh, Trump's view of Putin was basically your view of Putin now. Well, now my view of Putin is that he's not the person I thought he was. Yeah. In other words, the Putin I got in that interview is not the Putin I expected. I expected yeah. somebody far sterner than that. I didn't. I didn't think. Yeah, Khrushchev I didn't, type. I, I didn't think this guy was. Khrushchev. I didn't think this guy was. No, Khrushchev had a jolly demeanor about him. Believe it or not. He was banging the shoe at the UN. Yeah, but oh, he was laughing his head off when he was doing it. Uh, but 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 Putin actually has a sense of humor, and you know something, that resounds with me. Yeah. 
Because if somebody's got a sense of humor and they, they, can, they can take a joke themselves, I I I gotta I gotta give it to him a little bit, you know. Well, Trump doesn't have. It's I got a sense of humor, and you beat the shit out of me. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah, but it's 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 a really sucky sense of humor. So right. you know. But could it be maybe Putin's playing a character maybe for us? Like he doesn't want to show you a certain side. No, it's just that we never we never see the guy. All we see are pictures of him, and he looks like this stern Russian. True. And, and, he does look like a tough guy. Right now. You know, and in this in this case also, they don't do a, a translator talking over him. They simply run subtitles, so that you actually hear his inflections and you hear his voice, and which is not an unpleasant voice, I might add. He, yeah. you know, he doesn't sound he doesn't sound the he doesn't have the sternness in his voice that he has in his um, in his look. Like his face looks yeah. like a real stern guy. Like, yeah. Actually, he doesn't even, he didn't look stern when he was in that interview. He, he looked like a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, and, and in good shape. You know, he was, uh, I guess, into judo. Uh, hockey yeah. player. And, hey, yeah, but, yeah. But, 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 it's not judo, it's a karate or something like that that he's yeah. into. Kendo or something yeah, like that. Yeah, taekwondo. Oh, taekwondo? Yeah, he, he's into martial arts. And he, he says he follows that philosophy into his politics, into his handling of politics. Yeah. yeah. Rides horses bare chested, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so the picture problem. you always get is him on, you know, from years ago, I'm sure, on a horse with no shirt on. It's like, you know, really? I mean, that's that's Putin. <laughs> I, I don't think it's years ago. Uh, well, you know what I've always. Well, I mean, been... he still does it, but I mean, the original, the original one was, I think, back in the when he first, within a year or two after he became, you know, well, the first time he was years... president. It was, he was 17 years uh, 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 president. And he's he 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 had to step down for a while. And there was well, another. You know, you can only be you minister. can only be prime minister for two for two terms. The term limit thing. Yeah. So yeah. you can then skip a term and go back again. So yeah, Medvedev what or whatever. And with his high name is. with very high uh, amounts of the vote. Sixty three percent. Yeah, sixty three percent. The first time he won, it was only like fifty two. But the next yeah. time, it's sixty three. Yeah. So I, they like him. Well, I, I think the reason they like him, I think he resounds with the Russian people. He's very Russian, you know, and he's very much into being Russian and what it takes to be a Russian and all of that stuff. So um, he's, he's, he's pretty, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I, he, he, here, here's an interesting thing. Well, to uh, be a Russian, you just got to be in a hurry. Somebody once said to me, oh. if you had anybody in history or in recent history in the last century or so that you could interview, who would it be? What do you think was the first word out of my mouth? Putin? No, not Putin. Trump? <laughs> Trump? No. Uh, Hitler. Oh. I, I would have loved, I would have, I would have, I, I'd still to this day, if somehow I'd go in a time machine, I'd give off my yep. left nutsack just to interview Hitler. Because I'd like to be able to see what he's really like in person. You know, because all the images we have of him is, you know, with the day. Da, 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 da. And I, I'd like to know. I, I, I hear, actually, that Hitler used to like to tell jokes. You know, yeah. I wonder if one of them was like two Jews walk into a bar. Yeah, right. <laughs> I heard, actually, he was a soprano, too. He was a singer. Yeah, really? Remember, remember Mel Brooks does it in the thing? Yeah, right. Um, I, uh, uh, I I just thought, you know, to me, I would like to find out what Hitler was really like, not the historical version of him, oh, okay. but what he the was really like. Yeah, I can see, okay, I can see that, yeah. What well, makes him tick, Alex, you think? Huh? What about, would you like to meet family members, too? You know, the one that maybe on a Sunday says, maybe we should go easier on the Jews. You know, I, I want to know that. <laughs> I want to know that Hitler. You should have shot this guy, really. I don't know how yeah. you so, I mean, I don't believe in the way that people are portrayed in history because all we have is a very static image of them. And those images are all, especially like even with Putin, Putin's images scary. are being controlled to make us think Putin is an evil guy. Now, he may, well may be. I'm not saying that he isn't. But the images that they've put forth are images that make him look evil. Wouldn't you agree with me on that one? Yeah. It makes sense, yeah. Well, I, when I watch old footages, I, I'm scared of him. He looks really totally evil, the way that you're saying his mannerisms, the face. You know what I'm saying? It really looks like Putin. Who, is that? Who looks more evil, Putin or Trump? 
Trump. And, uh, and this, Trump you're, looks you're, Trump. You're, Trump is a doppelganger from Mussolini. But that is the same thing that you know the media does to him that they're doing to Putin. What do you mean? You look at his face. He's got the and scowl. Well, is, I'm, I'm sorry. The fact that that belly of his goes over his belt down to the floor. Yeah, but if, if, you, look at the, if, you, if you look at right wing media and you see how they portray a picture of uh, Michelle Obama, and then you look at uh, left wing media and you see how they portray the same person in, in a much different light. Uh, in the right wing, hey, there, media, hey, I, got got news for you. I got news for you. I got I got news for you. There was no live there, video. There so was, I watched a lot of the the video of when he was in uh, when he was in on his religious tour, and he's sitting there. He just it's live video. You can't portray him any other way. You know, he's staring at the screen. This is a guy with let's say three and a half billion dollars who can't buy a suit that fits him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or a tie of the right wing. Goddamn tie hangs down over his pecker. You're right. Like, well, any tie, no matter what the length, would go over his pecker. Okay, so <laughs> he does look messy. But that guy's money. He, he he really does not dress well. Uh, you know, not really. Yeah. He he dresses oh, for the people. Look, He's Scott's like back. Where'd you go, Scott? <laughs> where'd you where'd you go? Did you go to confession and come back? I mean, you were gone a while. <laughs> Well, I think my air conditioner downstairs is dying, so I went and checked on it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's hot here, but it's not that hot. It's just not. It's only cooled the house one degree in about three hours. Well, oh my God, you're gonna run I have an air conditioner here that's 5,000 BTU because I don't want to blow a fuse, okay? And uh, it, it barely cools the room down on a hot day because my ceilings are so high. Oh. You know, yeah. so... I don't like running the air conditioning, but yeah. So you so, live in Texas, you don't like running the air conditioning. Yeah, you're that sounds dead. Game for the air conditioning, excuse me. Well, I hate running the air conditioning because today I started feeling a little sick from it because of you know the, the cold air gets gets to your throat and it, you check the filter. Yes, I, I checked the filter, the filter today. That's why I could run the air conditioning. Yeah. I mean, it's a brand new filter. Yeah. So I don't know what's wrong. You don't, you, don't you just take yours out and wash it? That's all you have to do with those things. No, we get a, I get a paper one. They change them every season. Oh, Spur okay. Winter and season. Yeah. But anyway, so I, I, uh, I, I, I strongly suggest if you want a good hour of television, watch the Putin interview. You, you know, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, I, 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 It'll I, be good when he takes over. Well, he already has. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I mean... Um, but I, I just, you know, it's it's just this confederacy of idiots in Washington that's just amazing to me. That's what was there before him. Uh, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. You can no. say whatever you want to about Barack Obama. Ineffective, doesn't get, can't get stuff done. I, I was but the one the thing, the one thing you've got to say about Obama is he respected the dignity of the office. Well, he didn't smoke inside. Well, no. He respected the dignity of the office. And, and for all his mistakes, and a lot of them were learning mistakes, uh, I think he gave great dignity to that office. And that's something that Trump has totally stripped away. I, I think I see uh, the, uh, what's happening with Trump having uh, Steve Bannon's uh, fingerprints on it, because it seems as though that they keep putting out all of these, all this minutia that gets people riled up and talking. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, in the background, they're doing other stuff that uh, getting certain legislation passed, uh, you, know, uh, ju you know, just dealing, dealing with other stuff. And, and you're not seeing really what's going on. And everybody's talking about uh, this prosecution or that. And they're not, they're not dealing with what's really uh, going on. What can, we do, what, what can we do about this scumbag, however, uh, ripping off the American public's uh, uh, pocketbook by using all his places for all the meetings? It's either his, his country club out in, uh, out in uh, uh, New Jersey, Jersey or it's Mar-a-Lago. And every time he goes to any of those places, which is out of the last uh, amount of time he's been in office, I think half the time he has been at one place or the other. Didn't they say that? He, uh, and, and the he government, and we're, and, and we're playing, paying the tab for that. 
Uh-huh. Didn't, he, didn't they say he had to reimburse if he was going to uh, use those things that uh, he... Uh, the, no, the no, 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 he, no. He, what he does is he says he brings somebody out and does business there. Yeah. You know? So, so, and even, let's face it, he, he doesn't have to reimburse anybody for anywhere he goes because he has to be protected. So if he goes to New Jersey, I don't care if they don't pay the rent on the room. They still have to have all the Secret Service out there. And that's going to cost $100,000 a day. Yeah. You know, that's why the White House exists at a, as a protective place for the President of the United States to live. And, well, and didn't uh, his wife, uh, Camp kid David. And, and Camp David. Right. Didn't you know. his wife and kid move in uh, yeah. to the White House just recently? Yeah, and then yep. they immediately took off for New Jersey. <laughs> Did they really? Something like that, yeah. I mean, you know, it, 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 but the fact is that there's no respect here for the, uh, for the presidency. There's no respect for the American people. And for all that he says that we're going to save money and so on, yeah, he's going to do it off the backs of the poor, but he's not going to stop going to Mar-a-Lago, you know? Well, he did make a, he did make a smart comment today. He yeah. did, didn't he? He did. And he I'm trying to remember... The, he, he called the uh, the plan that the medical health the health bill that the Congress passed mean. Yeah, <laughs> and so the Democrats are throwing him under the bus, saying that he's throwing the uh, Republican Congress under the bus by saying, "Hey, first he uh, applauded them uh, as as a uh, as a win, and now he's saying it's mean." Oh, but uh, don't you think that's kind of weird? Well, I mean, <laughs> look, they're only calling out what they hear. It wasn't you know, his he, bill. It was, but it was he, but he celebrated though. it there in the Rose Garden with them. Yeah. But he didn't know what it was back then. Oh, uh, because he didn't read it or he didn't ask? Yeah, he didn't know what it was. We uh, saw it on TV, but... Uh, Fox News uh, said it was good. Uh, talking, uh, talking about uh, people that have uh, made a positive influence on this country, Dennis Rodman got a... Uh, uh, a student released from uh, North Korea. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. No, there didn't. was no connection between that. He showed up, and the, and the student they let no, him go. I don't think he's uh, gone there no, yet. He's in a coma. No, no, that's 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 not true. Yeah, no, he was they, in a they, coma. They, they've denied that there's any connection between those events. Now, it is Rodman in North Korea now. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. finally he yeah. fi- finally went. He said he was going. No, it had nothing to do. The two had nothing to do with each other. Where'd you hear that, Phil? Well, it was a coincidence then that uh, they, they released the student. No, it's not a coincidence. It's a coincidence. The guy's been in a coma. The guy's been in a coma for 15 months, and they wanted to get rid of him. Well, it just so happens they released him exactly at the same time that uh, Rodman shows up in North well, Korea. Is, and is Rodman yeah, saying, I have... coincidence. Ha- and that, you know what coincidence is, Phil? That's exactly what a coincidence is. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I know, Tom. It's exasperating, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's amusing. It's as amusing as the Trump administration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, you're right, Alex. It, it is it is entertaining. Yeah. You know, it, it is it is entertaining. It'd be a I great... guess the one thing you could say about throwing Trump, Trump under the bus, at least he has insurance. Um, the, uh, you know, 24, 25 million people are going to lose their insurance. Yeah. But he doesn't have to worry about it. He doesn't have to worry about it at all. No. And plus, now that he's president, he has a medical plan for life that's better than you or I'll ever have. You know? yeah. does, he, does he want to go to the military hospital, though? You, know, you don't have to go to a military hospital. Sure, they take him to, no, no, uh, no. what's the one in Virginia? It, but if you, if you have the congressional medical plan, which is what the president has, and all his cabinet, and also congressmen and senators, you can go to any hospital. It's a medical plan. Uh, yeah, but uh, he, I thought he, uh, whenever a president is uh, in need of some sort of uh, medical uh, uh, service, they take him to a... Walter uh, Reed. A, yeah, that's it, Walter Reed. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, Walter yeah. Reed has always been where presidents have gone. When right. They get sick because that's where, the, you know, the Surgeon General operates. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yeah. ever wonder, Patrick, what the Surgeon General does for a living? You know, I, ever, the only thing that I ever remember uh-huh. was the under Clinton who was yapping about condoms. Other than that, and and the only, and C. Everett Coop, I only remember him because of that fucking beard he had. Yeah. But what about he, the uniform he wore? 
He had epaulets with stars. That's right. A, no, but, but the Surgeon General can wear those. They they do yeah. have. That's the outfit for the Surgeon General. Yeah, that's the general part. <laughs> yeah, but he wore it to bed. Yeah, I guess. You know, <laughs> no, do you remember what's her name? The one that uh, that was uh, same birth control was good, and they hated her for it. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember her name now. The black uh, surgeon, black lady, general. Yeah. most recent one. Yeah, she she wore a, I think she wore like a, a navy outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you're allowed to. Yeah, I, I wish they just wear that Catholic schoolgirl outfit, you know, with the white socks and the high plaid skirt. <laughs> <laughs> you like that look? <laughs> oh yeah, I, like that look. I never. I, what what would you say, Patrick? You want to see C. Everett Coop? Or somebody like that in that sort of an outfit? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if they're going to wear a uniform, it might as well be that one. Um, so did you hear about Megan Kelly? I was just going to say that. Yeah. Megan yeah. Ke- uh, well, tell them, tell them I, the story, uh, uh, Rob. Well, it tell seems that it. Uh, she's going to do an interview with Adam Jones. And not Adam son- Jones. Uh, no, she did one, Alex. I think. Alex Jones. Alex Jones, that's right. Alex. And this uh, as a, this Sunday night, and sponsors are pulling away. Good. So mm-hmm. the NBC is seeing uh, uh, lots of sponsors drop out. They don't want to have any part of uh, an Alex Jones interview, which I think is maybe wrong of the advertisers. But they have a right as advertisers to uh, uh, support what, what they well, no, not to support. But to not put themselves in what they consider to be a hostile environment for their advertising. Uh, it's going on a little too much. I mean, between no, 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 those, and, that, no, uh, and the woman on MSNBC. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Those are, those are protests. This is not a protest. Uh, she put it, she's putting Alex Jones on her show. These, yeah. uh, the advertiser in particular that I remember is J.P. Morgan Chase is pulling yes. out. They're pulling out of all digital. They're pulling it just surrounding that episode, not in general. OK, now, I don't know if there's anybody else joining them, but this is not a protest. This is an advertiser saying, I don't want to be have my ad be seen in that environment. And and it wasn't brought to their attention by uh, by viewers. No, that no, are, no, uh, well, no. They, prob- they probably saw an ad, an ad that said this Sunday, Alex Jones is going to be on the. I'm Megan Kelly. Yes, uh, Megan Kelly lover, Patrick. Well, I mean, it, it was a little bit more than that. It, it, there was a preview of what Alec Jones was speaking about. And a couple of the things that he brought up were how Sandy Hook was a false flag. Yeah. How um, the other thing is, and he did say this, and he's going to talk about it in the interview. The um, the experiment that the government doing, making human and animal hybrids. I mean, do you remember Alex? I sent you a few months back where uh, he had talked about humans and frogs being mated. Yeah. And just and he literally talking about this shit in the interview. And for my money, yeah, I think. They should allow him to do that yeah. so that the American people see what a fucking crackpot this Come on. Is. That's never going to work, Patrick, because we have a we have a president who who claimed that Obama wasn't an American. We've got a president mm-hmm. actually has quoted Alec Jones. Yeah. <laughs> really? How do you like that? So, you know, Alex Jones... see the frog resemblance in a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, it's amazing. Um, and, and that's what really prompted it was the, uh, the little highlights that were given of what the interview was going to say. And like I said, it was... Uh, he believed that 9-11 was an inside job. He believed that Sandy Hook that the parents faked their children deaf, and and she called them out on this stuff. I mean, she says that, you know, that not, you know, she doesn't agree with that, but the interview goes on and then he brings up the hybrid of human and animals. And it's like, who really believed this shit? 
I mean, I got my uh, DVR set, and I want to I want to make sure I don't miss that if it's aired because I want to hear him make a complete fool out of himself. Well, but, he he may make a complete fool out of himself, but here's the problem. He's going to make a fool out of himself, but at the same time, there are going to be people out there listening to this, some of which are going to eat what he's saying. Right, yeah. and, and, and I was just going to say, and, and Rob had the point, though, that, you know, and what you just said, Alex, that there's going to be idiots out there that follow this clown and say, you know, he makes a good point that I bet the parents did fake their children death and oh. then. Yeah. Is this like an Art Bell kind of thing, you know, where uh, UFOs? And no, no, this is this is Alex no, Jones, uh, okay? This is Alex yeah, Jones, please. and this is what Alex Jones does, and nobody's out there to vet him, and all of a sudden NBC is giving him this, uh, this showcase. So uh, why do they allow, why do they do it? Why do they give him the platform? Okay, here's a question, though. Let me ask you this. Probably uh, partly the, for Megyn Kelly. As involved, a broadcaster, too. I say that if Megyn Kelly wants to have him on, then he should be allowed on. Uh, we, we This is not how we manage the news, by not letting people be exposed to these people. But it's not news. But, but the sponsor has the right to say, I don't want to be in that hostile environment. Okay? And, and therefore, I can't blame the advertiser for being squeamish. You know, uh, advertisers have never known, been known as brave people. Okay? Um, and so what's happening with Hannity is that uh, somebody like M Media Matters got together and started pressuring advertisers to quit Hannity, which I find totally objectionable, by the way. Well, now the right wing are pressuring people well, to well, I know. Uh, well, I, 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 well, can I get to that? You know, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> the, uh, meanwhile, the, uh, uh, then um, uh, who was the uh, oh, uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's this uh, right wing t uh, former talk show bitch out in the Melanie West Coast. Melanie Morgan. Melanie Morgan, who uh, uh, decided her, she and another guy were going to start a protest against um, Rachel Maddow. Same thing. Take away. They have 3,000 people on there. Uh, yes, but somehow they haven't been able to get a single sponsor to withdraw. Okay? So, you know. Uh, uh, well, they claim they did. Well, they claim they did. I don't know of any. I can name a whole bunch that left Hannity. Yeah. You know. Uh, but, uh, no, they, they, well, they're claiming some victories. I, I, they're I, claiming I victories. What are they going to do? They're going to sit around and say we're failing? <laughs> Come on. No. Uh, I would have to grab my uh, Facebook to see their, uh, yeah, their current thing. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah of course, you'll it. believe anything they say, right? Of course. Anyway, uh, anyway, but I mean, I it's somehow. I mean, I don't know. How do you feel about this, Tom? Uh, you know, because you you listen to me on the radio all those years. Uh, I just don't believe in 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 uh, in, in boycotts like that. I organ, yeah, organize I boycotts. That. I think if if an advertiser advertises on a show and you don't like that show, and so you don't buy the advertiser's product, then that's the on the advertiser. But to go in and pressure an advertiser not to advertise on Hannity, I think, is wrong. Yeah, I, I, I see your point, and uh, I'm trying to the the situation with Hannity is is, is, is a bit different though, uh, because um, that as I remember that was a case where there was uh, boy I'm trying to remember I'm trying to, I don't even remember, but but yeah I I I think that uh, with the thing with Alex Jones is that uh, that. You know, he already has a forum, so I don't know what's the sense. Uh, he's certainly not being censored. No, uh, no, he, but he definitely, but, he de you know, so so what's the point of bringing him on? He's 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 already got his his well, let's he's already got okay, his audience. Okay, right? let's 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 back up a little bit in this scenario, though. At what point did they know? that Megyn Kelly was going to have on Alex Jones. Somewhere they had a meeting at NBC, and they said, who are going to be some of the guests we're going to have? Well, we'll try and get Putin for the first show, and then for the second show, the, and somebody said, hey, Alex Jones. They went, good. And they went and they booked Alex Jones, and they flew her out to wherever to interview Alex Jones, and the whole thing was put in the can. Nobody at NBC knew this? You know, yeah, I find that hard. Yeah. To you know, yeah. so uh, you could have stopped it in the very beginning by saying, "Nah, we don't want to do Alex Jones; it's going to be too much trouble for us." But then you got to ask the question: What's newsworthy about Alex Jones? Nothing. 
That's what I'm saying. So why yeah. do they have him on? Yeah, no, nothing. Why is, give him that platform? You're just asking, for ratings? It, you asked the best question of the of the year, uh, Rob, just then, about what does Alex Jones have to information to give us? And the right. fact is, it's all this sci-fi people coming from flying saucers shit. Yes, Patrick. Yeah, exactly. I, I think it's more of a looky loo sort of thing to to get. An audience, because people are, people like me don't listen to him, but hear different clips from different radio shows I listen to, and they're always making fun of him. Right. And so this would be a, the first time I would sit down. Well, I'm sorry, I've been sitting for 14 years. Yes. Um, this <laughs> Maybe this will be the first time you will stand up. Right. <laughs> I'll stand up and watch um, an interview with him because I personally would find it interesting to try to see this nutball that I oh. hear these things about, you know, the frogs were trying to get out because they're humans and, you know, so that would attract me. Yeah. But he, even, yeah he, he even described himself as an entertainer. I mean, there was like, he was at this uh, child custody trial. And they, yeah. they brought up all the stuff he, he was he was saying. He goes, oh, it's, I'm not being serious. I'm just an entertainer. Right, you know, yeah. I'm not a news person. That's the Limbaugh defense. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, and I, I on certain levels, I can buy that. But then why do you try to sell your authenticity on the air? You know, I don't think you ever listen to me for a day on my program, uh, uh, Tom, when at one point or another I didn't say, hey, I'm just an entertainer. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't try to put promote myself as being the end all political pundit who's supplying you with information you've got to know. Meanwhile, Alex Jones portrays himself that way and sells himself that way. Doesn't Rush Limbaugh do that? Limbaugh does it, too, but to a lesser extent. There's a certain tongue in cheekness about Limbaugh if you listen to him closely enough. So if Alex Jones was funny, it would be okay. It isn't a question of being funny. Limbaugh isn't necessarily funny. It's a matter of not trying to sell yourself as something you aren't. Okay? And then suddenly use the excuse of, well, I'm really not that way. Yes, Patrick? The other thing that's uh, real different, to, I mean, and I know everybody on this panel except probably Phil and I would listen to Limbaugh and mm -hmm. get something out of it. The thing is, Limbaugh talks about current events and does it in a way that is legitimate. He's mm -hmm. talking about what happened today. He's going to throw his twist on it and its political bent, but yeah. he's going to talk about current events and he's not going to go off on a tangent like with Alex Jones where, you know, something happened in, you know, like Sandy Hook. You're not going to hear Limbaugh go off and say, well, I bet the parents faked those deaths. You're not going to hear that. He, because he has his own brand of legitimacy, whether you buy that or not. Right. Where he's a serious, and I put that in quote, a serious broadcaster. However, he is an entertainer as well. Right. But he's a broadcaster and entertainer together. Alex Jones is just a fucking knock. And an entertainer, I think, is 100% what he is. But then he tried to pass himself off as a news person. And, but he got all these conspiracies that make no sense to anyone. Yeah. But so, so, they, so, then you, so then you take NBC News, who's putting this guy on. Why don't they put on, I don't know, pick, pick some entertainer and just put him on and let him spout. Bring a comedian in, because that's what this guy is, really. He's, why do they give him the credibility on an NBC News broadcast? Uh, has anybody seen it? Are you sure they've given this guy any credibility, or maybe she's ripping him a new one? Yeah, maybe she's trying to expose well, him. Oh, I, I he hear that I mean, everybody knows what he is. What she did maybe. with Trump uh, during the uh, po the political uh, 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 deal, where uh, you know he, she, the, her first question out of the bag was, uh, you know, hey, you're you're doing this to women and that to women, and 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 uh, you know she really rattled Trump. 
And, uh, you know, he, he, he got pissed off. Maybe that's her style, and she's going to do that to Alex Jones. And now maybe we're not going to get an opportunity to see that. No, because, you, I, uh, think, I think you will get the opportunity to see it because I think it will be broadcast. I don't think, yeah. I don't think NBC's got any easy way out now. You know, you know, I was just have enough just advertisers. Like, wait, 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 Kevin. Yeah. Kevin hasn't said much tonight. Yes, Kevin. No, I'm just saying that they're probably got enough advertisers that'll get them through the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't make them feel very good about Megyn Kelly. And secondly, right. she had proved herself with the Putin interview and uh, with her, her style on that show. She's not that good an interviewer. No. no. She, she's I really. Ra- uh, they bought. I, I think they bought a rather weak act. And yeah. uh, she'll wear one of those plaid skirts with the white socks. Uh, yes, I'm sure you <laughs> so would it like that. It. Something to look at. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, when you yeah. get that green screen working, I want to see turds behind you. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> I, I think it goes. Um, one, she isn't a good interviewer, but she's goddamn good to look at. And that's all that matters for me. <clears throat> but um, number two. Well, they, they, think, over at MSNBC, they, 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 over at NBC, they've counter programmed that. By get Greta von Susteren uh, oh, being on there, yeah. so Damn. so that so that if, if that one moment you're jerky, you're jerking off to Megyn Kelly, oh they suddenly go to a shot yeah. of uh, you that know. Just, that just makes sure that I have yeah. half of a chubby. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> by the way, we got offset that with uh, Greta. We, we've been joined. Yeah, we, I think you are 100 yeah. percent correct. When you, I forget, I, there were a couple of you that mentioned this. That it started from the ground up with the meetings of who we're going to have on for interviews. We're going to start with Putin. We're going to go with this one. We'll do Alex Jones. We'll do this. We'll do that. Who the fuck approved Alex Jones? And you can't right. see Megyn Kelly for that yeah. because somebody approved that interview. Right. She probably asked for it, though. Yeah, but they approved it. Maybe but- Alex Jones works cheap. <laughs> it's a, it has to do with Megyn Kelly herself. I mean, they're trying to yeah. get people to tune in because of this. We've been joined by uh, her right now. I tune in to her. I just tune in to watch. Yeah. I'm not sure what she's saying. It's on mute. <laughs> Put it on Zoom. Yeah, I'm shit. I, I, that's what I, when she was on Fox, I had it on while we were on the air here. <laughs> and I put it on mute, and I just watch. I don't give a shit what she's saying. Patrick the Stalker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the table, she's wearing a skirt. Good enough for me. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, can y'all hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you just oh, yeah. fine. <laughs> and you're coming in loud and clear and Full looking house. good. Uh, this whole uh, new system of ours is working beautifully now. Full house. Uh, Full house, too. Well, <laughs> this is me in Portland, Oregon, mm-hmm. using my board, my husband's laptop, mm-hmm. my new mic. And so... I was kind of iffy because yeah. this is the first time I figured I'd call in and see how y'all were doing. And my ex-wife lives in Portland, Oregon, and she moved there. I'll tell she, her hello. She, she moved. <laughs> she moved there from Portland, Maine. Oh, crazy. Huh? Portland That's the other Portland. coast. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, we're talking about we're talking about Megyn Kelly and uh, the Alex Jones and, interview. Uh, and, and yes, and another thing Texas is sorry for. What? Alex Jones? Alex, Alex Jones. Jones. Austin, isn't he? <laughs> is, is that where he comes out of? We apologize to the whole country. Well, yeah. look, that look. piece of shit that uh, I was talking about the other night that um, uh, interviewed um, or was interviewed by uh, that uh, basketball player, uh, Amy, uh, some guy. Oh, from- uh, you're uh, Richard um, Spencer. Oh. Yes. We apologize for him as well. Yeah, yeah that, that one's no good. Uh, but, you know, on the other hand, we gave you Jim Hightower and Molly Ivins and Ann Richards. Uh, uh, we gave you Walter Cronkite, although he wasn't born here. You, he also, gave us, you here. also gave us Dan Rather. Yeah. And Dan Rather and Bill Moyers and Jim Lair. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, so, all, all those. Bo- I mean, all those. All, uh, in other words, in other words, the people. last ones you mentioned are some of the most boring broadcasters in America. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're good at their jobs. Uh, uh, Bob Woodruff is what Woodruff. Well, well, their job yeah. is yeah. their job is being their job is their job is their job is basically being a fetus. 
you know, an elitist. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't watch PBS. I find it just, I, it's drowsy. It makes me want well, to sleep. Didn't Ted Cruz's father kill Kennedy? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. there. Yeah. That would be another he's Alex Jones. Uh, he, he's really famous for conspiracy theories that are outlandish. Um, one of my friends That's in Beaumont wrong. sent me a link to Alex Jones talking about fluoride in the water. Mm hmm. And so I responded <laughs> with a link to Dr. Strangelove. <laughs> General fluid. Jack D. River talking about fluoride in the water. Right, still, after all these years. I know. Yeah, five decades. All these decades of it being there. It's like, gee, really? You're still worried about that? It's like, <laughs> seems to be doing the job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this guy that I used to think was intelligent, that I, I dated in high school and then in between marriages for just a brief time, uh, seems to only now believe urban legends. Really? Only believes really? like what? The, you like know, white like... wing propaganda myths. Yeah, well, yeah, well, why? <laughs> it, 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 it's amazing to me that people do, people do get attracted to that. You know, we were talking about Alex Jones. And all I can think of is that in every, and I, it, Rob, maybe you can refresh my memory on some of this, okay? In every t t day, uh, time that I've lived during the last 77 years, there has been somebody on the radio that was a nutcase, yeah. that mm -hmm. got a lot of press, you know? Alex, and you know and Alex Jones is simply a bad successor to those guys. Mm-hmm. I, I would say yes um you know i guess growing up i wasn't listening to that much talk radio it was and then as i got older i listened to npr well, sometimes so, sometimes they weren't even talk show hosts sometimes they were just loose cannons oh you know yeah i mean and, and, there was, and, and, and there was it, rush. you know the, the old the old thing well no rush i have a great deal of respect for rush as a broadcaster he's one of the best okay uh, and and I have to say that because what he did, he was the first guy on the block to do it. And just because all these other people came along and imitated him, don't blame him for the form. And what he did, and and Al, uh, Albert uh, Rob, you'll agree, uh, you'll probably agree with me on this. Is is Limbaugh a great broadcaster or what? He's a pro. I don't agree with anything he says. That's and right. I. I yeah, take but. umbrage with with the way he says some things, but he's definitely a broad. He knows the medium and he knows how to really. He uses the media well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He knows the medium, the radio very well. Yes, uh, 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 yes. Uh, 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 oh, what do you know? Uh, 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 Tony has something to say. It, you know, I'm bad with names, and no longer do the names automatically come up on everybody's picture. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, when you were speaking of Alex Jones. Yeah. I remember I brought this up to you. You knew the lady, Alex. I came across a Ma Brussel. May Brussel. Like, May Brussel. I knew May. Yeah. yeah. Is, would you say Alex Jones might have ripped off her a little bit? May Brussel? Mm. Yeah, like, yeah. she was at the conspiracy theories. I heard some old time radio from her. Uh, uh, she believed, like, the Manson murders were really set up by the FBI in the end of 60s. I heard some Yeah, stuff May was kind of that way. Crazy yeah. Things but, but, out there. yeah, but she wasn't as oh, crazy. Oh, and then there's Laura Ingram. We, we no, apologize no, for Laura no, Ingram no, that, as that, well. That Laura Ingram oh, yeah. isn't in the May Brussel. <laughs> and Glenn Beck. Laura Ingram all isn't in the crazies come from section. Texas, and all the good she ones was, come from Texas. She was out there with theories, like. Yeah, no, she, no, she was. Um, and I worked with a woman that was like that, too. What's her name? Um, uh, oh, God. The one that died, you said? Yeah, Lynn, Lynn Samuels? Lynn Samuels, yeah. Lynn oh, was a big, big conspiracy nutcase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I, I just don't know what happened to so many people that I know that I thought were smart. Maybe yeah. when we get older, we change. I don't know. I hope I don't get like that. I believe in people. You're yeah, already there. Stuff like that, but I think it's <laughs> Well, uh, you know, a lot of these people used to be real stoners, you know, back in yeah. high school yeah. and college. Yeah. Well, so no, no just make no, it, 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 I got to tell you, Alex yeah, Jones, maybe, uh, wait, maybe hold on a second, uh, Amy, 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 
Alex Jones is simply a contemporary stoner. I mean, he's he, he has all that stoner paranoia, you know, all those things that the stoners were into. Looks like well, he has cheese on a regular basis too. What? I think he's still a stoner, and um, I don't know. I guess some of the old stoners that I know yeah. they listen to him, so maybe that's it. Yeah. Uh, yes, Patrick. I don't know if you guys are aware of this too, but he has his own line of, um, they're like health uh, supplements, vitamins, and things like that. <laughs> and it, 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 bizarre shit. I mean, it's, I think it's infowars.com is his website. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah. survival yeah. stuff. Patrick, uh, some sort of survival he, kit. Yes, uh, he does the survival yeah. stuff as well. Survival kit. Um, <laughs> all, all of that crazy BS, all of it. Uh, it's, it's worth perusing just for a little more information on who this clown is. I mean, just, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the hybrid with the human and animals, that <laughs> kind of puts him over. It's crazy. It's like a fair life. He's like if you took Rush Limbaugh and mixed him with Glenn Beck and then added just a little more crazy and a little more hysteria. And a lot of volume. Well, again, He's you know, I, 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 again, I mean, this is, and like, this you know, is a, constantly this is going a, 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 red Amy, and Amy, just Amy, this is stu- it's a stupid conversation because it's, <laughs> it, it really is. Because if you look at the history of broadcasting, which you're not as aware of as I am. Okay, the fact is the the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Okay, That's and there's always been some guy, some person who was out there who yelled and screamed louder than the next guy, and that was the guy people noticed. Mm-hmm. You know, Alex I Jones sells that. super oh, male vitality pills. Oh, really? Oh, there you go. Of course he does. He obviously oh, takes a lot of them. On, oh, on, you know, as on, long on, as we're yeah, go ahead. Super male vitality. It's only fifty nine ninety five. You can oh, save only sixty bucks. Well, you know, really, it's very good because if you spend the fifty nine ninety five, you fucked yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, they also have since a super. Since I'm in Portland, yeah. I have to mention I have a cousin out here who sells Young Living Essential Oils, which is the Amway of supplements. Mm. And uh, he came to, to Dallas to a conference. It's the same place Phil went to a conference. And oh uh, it's called the, the Gaylord. It's this giant yeah. place in Grapevine. And uh, it's air conditioned. <laughs> yes, it is. So I did a little research into the founder. And I was expecting to find, you know, the guy was a shyster because he looked like a shyster. Just, you know, looking at the picture. It was so much worse. Uh, Chased after his family with an axe and uh, Santa Barbara. What I just saw, I saw a documentary I just watched on what's what's the name of that uh, that vitamin company? Uh, Oh, the one out of Emeryville? No, 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 no. Amway? Herbal life. Herbal life. Herbal life, yeah. Herbal life, yeah. Uh, I watched a documentary on it last night. It's on Netflix. And uh, I sat there with my mouth hanging down to the floor yeah. on why these people are even doing business. You know, I mean, it's the biggest fucking pyramid scheme ever selling. My neighbor it. does it. I mean, huh? What would you say, my Kevin? My neighbor does it. He tried, you know, all, he just ta- all he talks about is how he gets a check in the mail all the time. Yeah. Got, and he's trying to get you to, you know, join yeah. in and buy this, I, buy that. I need you to buy into yeah. it. When I but, I mean, when I saw this documentary, why hasn't the government closed these guys down? They keep trying. There's a million of and them. And then, no, but no, what happens is the company itself... They, they got a thing against them, and then they fined them, and so they paid the fine. It was several hundred million dollars or whatever, and then the government goes, okay, now you can do business. We got our couple yeah. hundred million. Oh, what? Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. they especially go after Latino neighborhoods to get these people to invest, <laughs> and, and they've been ripping off the Latino community for years now. Herbalife? Herbalife. Oh, it's amazing. Is, Watch is this documentary. Is Herbalife out of Utah? No. Yeah. 
no, Young I Living. Thought, that's where a lot of them come from, right? Yeah. 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 There used to be right over by the Watergate uh, uh, complex in Emeryville. They had yeah. there was a high rise, and it said her. Herbal yeah, yeah, yeah. It. They have. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right off eighty, there. They're yeah. kind of the. Uh, they're kind of the Scientology of supplements. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, but Except uh, Young Living is the new Herbalife. But I watched this Young Living thing. Essential yeah. Oils. Okay. Okay. <laughs> calm down, the Amy. The left. Amy, version. calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I watched I this thing. I, I watched this thing. Let me finish this. I, 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 I watched this thing, and I just, I was aghast that these people even have their door. They've been around for 20 years. Oh, at least. Well, uh, oh, you know, longer than that. you remember Maybe Esther, longer, right? Yeah. Uh, Earhart Seminar Training. Oh, yeah. There was a group of these people, and they had one of these door-to-door -door vitamin selling businesses uh, they sold something called Greenies because I was dating her, and every time she didn't meet her quota, she was selling me more vitamins. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, she would go door to door and uh, and and and, mm -hmm. and hire people to to buy her vitamins. But they were all est people, uh, mm -hmm. and she and she oh, tried yeah, to get the other est people well, too. Isn't that isn't that also a lot <laughs> like even bad. we used to call them est holes? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Eric, Mary Kay is the same thing. Isn't it? That guy was a, a vacuum cleaner salesman. Something so like that. And his name was like Tom Schwartz or something. I can't remember what his real name I'm was. Werner Earhart. Yeah. <laughs> Werner Earhart. It wasn't <laughs> Werner Earhart. Makeup, and it actually what? is makeup. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she I used mean, to it. do a lot of good stuff for the city of Dallas. They had buses in downtown Dallas that were pink and had ears and a tail yeah. and on the side. Oh, well, I mean, of that's us. a whole different thing. Yeah. You know, that, that, oh, you know, is that the one with the pink Cadillacs? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. But that's yeah. A, but that Mary Kay is not Mary a pyramid Kay. scheme. You know, in other no. words, you, you, well, you, 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 you invest, you sell the product, you make money back on the product. In the case like of, Amway. In, in, Amway the, in the case of, uh, of a pyramid Amway scheme. Amway is absolutely Can a I say something yeah. here? In the case yeah. of, of, of what we're talking about, uh, this company would uh, like you would what you were out to sell was more people to sell. So right. you All made money from product. them. So the person who's at the top of the pyramid is making millions. The person at the bottom is losing his shirt. I right. call them product cults. The product mm -hmm. cults, yeah. And they, they mm -hmm. also had this thing where people would open up these, these, uh, these clubs yeah. that you go into them and you, you get yourself a shake, an herbal life shake. Yeah. And uh, they would uh, they would make money that way. And some of these people said one guy, one guy lost a ton of money on it. So what he did in order to make money because he was a bright enough entrepreneur is he turned it into a vape store <laughs> and, and, and people come in and vape. And uh, uh, he, he now he's making a fortune now, but not with herbal life, but with vaping products. Well, when I first met life. David, his whole family was yeah. doing scam way and uh, we went on one of our first trips together to the memphis pyramid for an amway convention Ooh. which uh well outside again amway started, amway it was it, like a junior high pep rally amway is one of there those was, but amway is not a pyramid all, scheme Ma amway again is a, a, another one of those sell-through things it's not it, yes it, it does not constitute a pyramid scheme Oh no, it is. Make money, huh? Yeah. yeah. No, people at the bottom do not. They lose money. What about these lingerie so you parties? Start climbing they, up, you get in the money. You get the lingerie parties, you know, that they yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, women put on, and uh, they try to sell lingerie, make some extra dough, yeah, edible but, underwear, yeah. that kind of Tupperware. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was the original. Uh, one of the original. Tupperware was a big one, though. But Tupperware was legit as well, though. But, yeah, you know. but if you weren't able to sell, I mean, after what's well, like going selling insurance to your friends? Once you run out of friends, yeah. what do you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you, you didn't have out. to have a whole you bunch of You start killing them for the insurance. Like, I yeah. don't know. It's just <laughs> no different than giving the guy 10 bucks and being at the bottom of the pyramid and working your way up by giving somebody else 10 bucks and getting 10 bucks from somebody yeah. else. It's the same thing. Hey, listen, the theme yeah. is playing. That means I got to go. Uh -oh. Well, I I don't have to go because I could then not play the theme and then Amy couldn't get on the jack right after us. But you know, I hey, know. this whole new system's working great and you all look terrific and and I can actually put myself now in on a bigger picture on the bottom because it just apportions things very nicely. Thank you very much, Rob Alfano. Thank you, John Rockwell, Anthony Magno, Tom Yamaguchi. Gee, now you can do it from your phone and life is wonderful. Amy Manuel, thank you, Scott Boddicker. Uh, 
think the world of you. Tessic, you're the best, Patrick. Phil, love you, darling. And uh, see how much better I am now? I'm, I'm well. I'm not grouchy. Uh, that's <laughs> This week. That, that's <laughs> Tonight. I'll, I'll see you. Wave goodbye to everybody, everybody. Hey. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's, what she, that's all she wrote for tonight. Uh, I'm uh, I'm off here, and let me just hang up and on these people. I got rid of them, except I still have Rob. Goodbye, Rob. Uh, we'll say goodbye to Rob. Oh, and also we say goodbye to Tom. Okay, we, we, we just I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just kill Skype altogether, and uh, I think that should be okay, right? No, no. Hold on a second, folks. Signing this off is always a pain in the ass. Uh, and it, it's uh, it's it's different offline. Okay, well we're 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 hung up on them. Okay, let me see here. Um, where are we? Oh, I'm having problems signing off here. Sign out. There we go. Okay, there we go. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. That's all she wrote. We'll be here again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. Jack and Amy are next with the intersection. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her. Tell her I love her. Okay? Bye. <laughs>